Well, one thing that is, is uh, remarkable about the events of 1989 is that they supply us with a kind of terrific natural experiment from the point of view of social scientists. If you look at the literature, for example, of people who studied European democracies uh, before 1989, they were essentially cycling endless numbers of theories through the same old data set that everybody had had uh, for, for decades. And they didn't have any a big exogenous change. 1989 is a big shock uh, to the system. And suddenly we have, for instance, in Western Europe, the, in Eastern Europe, the addition of a whole, num whole lot of new parliamentary democracies. And so that creates possibilities of thinking about long established conventional wisdom, testing theories that uh, against new data, which is the gold standard for social science, rather than testing theories on data out of which the theories had been developed, uh, which tend to result in what uh, statisticians call just so stories, sort of fitting the curve to the data. Um, suddenly we have all this new data uh, coming along in real time.